Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, Evernote offers an intuitive interface and great features like OCR and web clipping. However, if you were to choose between either of these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. When it comes to the interface, Evernote's design is straightforward, which makes it easy to jump in and start taking notes. It uses a familiar notebook and tag system, which makes it simple to organize your information. The user interface is intuitive, with everything from creating new notes to managing tasks laid out clearly. The left sidebar gives you quick access to your notebooks, tags, and recent notes, and makes it ideal for those who like structured and organized setups. For beginners or those who prefer a no-fuss environment, Evernote feels comfortable and familiar. It's also visually engaging, with options to customize your home dashboard to prioritize tasks or highlight your most important notes. On the other hand, Obsidian's interface takes a more minimalistic and customizable approach. Instead of notebooks and tags, Obsidian is centered around a freeform method where users can create and link notes in a flexible way. The standout feature is the graph view, which shows how all your notes are interconnected and makes it perfect for users who think on the web or networks of ideas rather than in strict categories. However, Obsidian's interface may feel overwhelming at first to new users because it starts as a blank canvas, which requires more customization and setup. Evernote offers a rich text editor that's easy to use and highly functional. You can create notes with different formatting options like bold, italics, checkboxes, tables, and more. It's a very familiar experience, similar to using a word processor like Microsoft Word. You can also insert images, PDFs, audio clips, and other media directly into your notes, which gives you the flexibility to collect and organize diverse types of content. One big feature is its pre-made templates, which help structure your notes for specific use cases like meeting notes, daily logs, or project management. Obsidian, by contrast, uses Markdown for note creation, which is a lightweight markup language. Markdown is simpler in the sense that you use special characters like for bold and hash for headers, and these are for links, but it may take some getting used to if you haven't worked with it before. Once you learn Markdown, it's really useful and versatile because it produces clean, structured text that can be exported into different formats like PDF or DAO-CX. Obsidian doesn't offer templates natively, but you can find or create templates through its plugin system. While Evernote's rich text format is more beginner-friendly and familiar, Obsidian's Markdown offers greater control over text, formatting, and compatibility with other apps. When it comes to organizing your notes, Evernote provides a notebook and tag system. You can create multiple notebooks and tag notes with keywords, which makes searching and categorizing notes quick and easy. You can also create stacks to group related notebooks together, which is particularly helpful for larger projects or when managing multiple areas of your life or work. Obsidian, on the other hand, doesn't rely on notebooks in the traditional sense. Instead, you organize your notes in a file-based system where each note is a separate markdown file. Obsidian's strength lies in its bidirectional linking and graph view. With bidirectional links, you can create relationships between notes by linking them together, which gives you a dynamic, interconnected system of notes. The graph view is a visual map of all your notes and how they link to one another, which shows the relationships between your ideas. This kind of non-linear note-taking and organization is especially useful for knowledge management, research, or project development. In the long run, Evernote is better suited for users who prefer a traditional, hierarchical organization system with notebooks and tags, while Obsidian excels for users who want more freedom and flexibility in how they organize and link their notes. Evernote's search feature is highly effective. Not only does it allow you to search the text within your notes, but it also supports OCR, optical character recognition, which lets you search for text within images, scanned documents, and PDFs. This is a huge advantage for anyone who frequently deals with scanned receipts, handwritten notes, or photos containing text. Evernote also has advanced search capabilities, which allow you to search by tags, dates, and other metadata. This makes finding specific information across your notebooks fast and efficient. Obsidian, while offering great search functionality, 
does not have native OCR capabilities. Its search is focused on text-based searches, so it's excellent for finding specific words or phrases within your notes. But if you need to search through images or PDFs, you'd need a third-party plugin or a separate tool. In terms of search, Evernote is more reliable for its advanced capabilities and OCR support, but Obsidian still performs well for text-based searching. Obsidian thrives in the areas of customization and extensibility. It has a plugin system that allows users to install and use hundreds of community-developed plugins. These plugins can add features like task management, calendars, advanced formatting options, integrations with other apps, and more. Some users even develop their own plugins to suit their specific needs. This makes Obsidian highly adaptable to different workflows, and the possibilities for customization are virtually endless. Evernote doesn't have a plugin system, but it does support integrations with popular apps like Google Drive, Slack, and Microsoft Outlook. It also has its own native features like Web Clipper, which allows you to save articles, PDFs, and other web content directly into your Evernote notebooks. While Evernote's native features are solid, it doesn't offer the same level of customization that Obsidian does. If you're someone who likes to tweak and tailor your note-taking system to your exact needs, Obsidian's plugin system gives you far more flexibility. Evernote, on the other hand, is a bit more fixed in its feature set, but offers enough integrations to cover most users' needs. Evernote is better equipped for collaborative work. With Evernote, you can share notebooks or individual notes with others, and they can view or edit the content based on the permissions you set. This makes it a great tool for team projects or when you need to share information with others. It also has features like real-time syncing across devices, which ensures that all changes are reflected immediately no matter where you access your notes from. Obsidian, however, is more focused on individual use. While you can share notes or even publish them online using Obsidian Publish, it's not designed with collaboration in mind. You would need to set up third-party tools like Dropbox or Google Drive for syncing and sharing files. This makes Obsidian less suited for team-based work compared to Evernote. For users who need to collaborate with others or work in teams, Evernote is the better option. Obsidian, meanwhile, is best for solo users who are building a personal knowledge base or working on their own projects. Now let's talk about pricing. Evernote offers several plans, with a free option that allows you to create up to 50 notes, one notebook, and sync across one device. The personal plan, which costs $10.83 per month annually, unlocks more storage and features, such as creating up to 150,000 notes and syncing across unlimited devices. The professional plan, priced at $14.16 per month, offers even more storage and integrations, which makes it suitable for users who need heavy-duty note-taking, organization, and task management. Obsidian, on the other hand, is free for personal use. It offers all its core features at no cost, and you only pay if you're using it for commercial purposes. The Catalyst license is a one-time payment of $25, which gives you early access to new features and helps support its development. For those who want more, there are two optional paid add-ons, Obsidian Sync for $4 per month, which allows you to sync notes across devices with end-to-end -end encryption, and Obsidian Publish for $8 per month, which lets you turn your notes into a website. The pricing model for Obsidian is much more flexible and allows users to pay for only the features they need. So, which app is right for you? It really depends on what you need from a note-taking app. Evernote is ideal for users who want an all-in-one solution for capturing and organizing information. It's perfect if you prefer an organized, straightforward interface with minimal setup and need features like web clipping, reminders, and collaborative tools. On the other hand, if you're someone who values customization, likes to connect ideas, or wants to build a personal knowledge base, Obsidian is your go-to tool. Let us know which one you want to try first. Catch you guys on our next video.